Danny Games here. Welcome back to the channel. We're back with another Discord Dream Snaps review video for the Ancient Aesthetics Dream Snap. So we're coming to the second half of the Discord submissions. If you haven't seen the first video, make sure you go check that out and then come straight back to this. Or if you want, watch this video first and then you can watch the other one next. <laughs> um, but yeah, like um, lots of really, really great submissions out there this week. I do wanna say sort of what I said in the last video, when I've been voting, there has been a lot of strong, really, really good submissions. I think the competition is so strong. Um, I think that means it's going to be very, very hard to get into the top 5% for that 4K. So if anyone doesn't get 4K, don't be dismayed. Don't be discouraged. The competition is so, so strong. Even I'm at the point that I'm like, I don't think my snap is worth 4K. I really don't. It's a good snap, don't get me wrong. I do love my ancient aesthetic snap, but I'm not sure it's going to be 4K worthy with the level of, like, just the pure, yeah, just the... the the submissions out there are very, very strong, really good. I, yeah, I know it's going to be Tuesday by the time this video is uploaded. Um, but I do just want to say, if you haven't spent much time voting, go do some voting. The, the, oh God, the submissions out there are so, so good. Um, but why don't I show you what's in the Discord because there are a lot of creative and fun and talented submissions in Discord and I really want to showcase them off to you all. So let's head over to Discord now and I can show you the submissions. Now first up we have Luanil's submission and this is just breathtaking. It is so, so good. I love the lighting up here on the top left. I'm gonna guess that's from like one of the orb lights. The character looks gorgeous. All the little details, like even the pearls, this like stone pathway on the floor, um, the sparkles at the front here, the orb behind your character, giving her this kind of like magical glow. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. This is amazing. Next level. This is uh, it, it, this this could be a winner. This could be a winner. It's such a good submission. Next up we have Strawberry Blonde submission and this is a very cute and fun submission. I love the inclusion of like Goofy. It's like you guys have been on an adventure and discovering these ancient ruins and stuff like that. You do know how to stress me out with your last minute submissions though. <laughs> oh the fact that you submitted this at like one minute two. I could not. The stress that that would give me. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is a really fun submission, really cute. I love it. I'm very excited to see how this does. Next up, we have Pupster submission, and I really like this. The lighting in this photo is super bright and vibrant, which is lovely. I love that you can see the kind of like Atlantis statues in the background. I think they work really well. You've got the little robot companion and then some of the little details with the Hercules vases, the Philatiti statues, the, the fountains. This is just a really, really cute, um, like vibrant pretty aesthetic uh dream snap next up we have chloe with their dream snap submission this is a very very cute submission i love that it's very simple like you frame the photo with this um this archway with the flowers on it which just looks really pretty um just a few little items like the globe these uh sort of candelabra candlesticks these uh what are they called? I've forgotten what this collect celestial lights and everything. The harp, this archway. Yeah, it's just very, very pretty. I really like this submission. Next up, we have Otto submission, and this is a really good submission. Um, I love the little robot. You're dressed in like the night outfit. Um, the turning red statues work really well against this backdrop of these arches. 
Um, I love that you've taken this photo in Eternity Isle and this bit leads up to the oasis here. So you've got these kind of like added ruins into your shot um, by using some of this sort of natural background look. These uh, broken down walls work really well. Then you've got all these like gems and stuff. Like this is just a really, really cute photo and even Scar's like house with the like elephant graveyard tusk horn thing um doesn't look too out of place so i like this submission i think it's really good next up we have next phoenix with this submission i love the flooring on this this is really unique this kind of like stripe patterned with these pebbles um i love that you've included the lion statues i think they work really well in the background we have the Eric statue and also this vase which looks really good. All the foliage, your character looks amazing along with this raven. Um, definitely very kind of like mystical, magical but um, ancient vibes. Even this gazebo looks really good so yeah I think this is a wonderful submission. Next up we have October Rose's submission and her husband's submission. I love this, this is so beautiful. <laughs> this is so so good. I love how uh, you've got these kind of like archways in the background with all the, um, not the pillars but the other arches. I always forget what this Hercules item is called. Um, but it's like an archway thing <laughs> um, with the lion statues and everything like that. Even the detailing with the background foliage, like I can see these like candelabras and I'm assuming it's the vine wall, but it's just like the colours really work. There's a lot of depth to this photo. I love the foliage and everything like that. And you and Eric look amazing here. This is a wonderful submission. And then we have this submission on your husband's account and this is gorgeous as well. One, I love that Mickey Cloud. That Mickey Cloud is beautiful. <laughs> um, I love all the fountains. I love the red dress. It is so vibrant and pops so well. Complimentary with the like red hair and then the pop of red with these flowers. Like this is just a lovely cohesion of colours which I think is absolutely gorgeous. This is a stunning submission. This is really, really good. And I hope both of these submissions get 4K. Next up, we have Mantha's submission. And this is gorgeous. I love this. All the decor in the background, like even with the standy, standy, <laughs> standy, like, um pillar things statues here uh, they're part of the moana collection but i think it works really really well even the ancient fountain doing the little like u-shape on the top the glow from the uh, starlight projectors there does appear to be a flame here i'm gonna assume from potentially a light source like potentially the um the fire candelabra things but i'm not entirely sure where that light force it light for light source is coming from uh definitely some sort of flame but yeah this is really cute really aesthetic um i i love this i think this is so well decorated like the way the foliage works and everything this is gorgeous next up we have a submission from ali and i adore adore this submission okay so it's definitely giving me kind of like hercules greek god kind of vibes especially with the hair i'm trying to think who it is in hercules but one of the characters has like the cloud hair um and it very much reminds me of that i'm sure they have like a cloud like appearance to their hair um but it looks really really good um merlin looks well in the setting and I love the fog, it adds like a mysterious element to it which I think is beautiful, um, very simple in terms of its decor, we've got a couple of arches, we've got a couple of statues and some of the benches and some, um, what do you call them, fountains, so there's not like a lot of clutter but again not a bad thing not saying that in a negative way i think it's a really good thing i think it's just yeah this is so beautiful i love this submission next up we have 
Curls Fantasy who has said they've done an Aladdin type theme or Aladdin-esque type theme. Um, this is a gorgeous submission. All the foliage, all the flowers. Oh, it's so, so pretty. It's so gorgeous. Your character definitely has some sort of jasmine vibes with the colours um, and everything like that. The, like, little pops of blue see this is again a bit like the submission for ray where like the dress kind of really complements a couple of details within the shot so we've got this like birdcage light set with this beautiful blue color on it and even the desert palace in the background kind of has this blue hue it just works really really well together very complimentary this is a gorgeous submission and so stunning Next up we have Bayorina with this gorgeous setup. I love the framing of this, the Hercules items, even in the middle here with the fountain sur uh, surrounded by the benches, the little detail with all the candlesticks and then even including this little picnic setup. It's so pretty, the colours on this are so good. Like the fact that this picture looks so vibrant even though it's night time just works really really well. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous shot. I think this is going to do very well. Now, next up, we have a submission that I made for my husband. Um, I really hope I don't let him down with this one. Again, I wanted to kind of go with the Meg Hercules vibes. So we have the Eric statue in the background. Now, I've actually made a slightly different kind of like foliage background. Um, we do have the vine wall set up, um, but what I've also done is I flipped one of the vine walls round, which is the one behind Eric, which had the kind of very light green colour to it. But then what I found out is that you can clip um, like trees through certain items. So um, this was actually taken in the Sunlit Plateau and looking down towards the plaza so in the plaza i put a tree and it was actually accidental i was trying to cover up some of the gaps in the vine walls and um that's when i realized you could clip the trees through because the trees were clipping through but they were clipping through so much they hid the eric statue and i was like oh no 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 i can't do that but i actually like the effect of the tree clipping through to give a bit of texture and dimension to the vine wall something that looks a bit different so i pulled it back a bit and then let it clip through but just like only slightly so again it just creates this kind of like different tone which i like i've made like almost like a long archway with this pillar and then we've got the fairy godmother bench down at the front which part of me wanting to include that was so i could get the sparkles and i'm now realizing you don't really see many sparkles at all which is a bit of a shame <laughs> Um, again, I went for a Meg vibe, hence the kind of like purpley hair and the purple dress. And then we do have a couple of fountains on either side. It's a very simple submission. I'm not sure how well this is going to go down. Um, I hope it does decently. But as I said, the competition out there is really, really strong. So I hope it does well. But if it doesn't, I, I kind of know how tough it is out there. <laughs> Now, next up, we have Amethyst Unicorn with her submissions. This is gorgeous. The way you've decorated this is so beautiful. Like the fact that you've got these benches here, but instead you've created like this almost like garden-y setup with the, um, the floral bits inside. I think that just works really well. All the different fountains and we've got these beautiful flowers at the front um yeah this is just gorgeous i absolutely adore this submission and then we have this submission here which is quite different but still on theme and everything like that but different from your last one this one we've got your character posing with this bird and then a lot of statues around we do have some foliage in the background which provides a nice backdrop I love the glow of the well. Using the well is such a good idea. The well really fits in with this theme. Um, and then we've got a little bit of foliage at the front as well. And even all the candles just add to the vibe. This is a gorgeous submission and I hope it does really well. 
Next up we have Glitch with this submission. This is another Hercules kind of inspired submission so I love it. I love that you've included the pool here. Um, there is a lot of water in that scene. Um, especially there's a scene where I think she jumps across the water I think. And there's like the statue in the background and stuff. Um, I think this just works really, really well. It's so gorgeous, so detailed. Um, the foliage looks really pretty. I love this. I, I hope it does well. Next up, we have Kamikaze with their submission. And their submission is more kind of like ancient sorcerer, witch kind of vibes. I love this. I love that you've used these um, Nightmare Before Christmas fountains with the green glow. And then we've got the cauldrons in the background with the purple starlight projectors behind them. Even the lighting at the top with the candles and these sort of like arch trees and stuff works really, really well. This is a gorgeous submission. I do think it's on theme and I hope it does well for you. Next up we have Princess Star Butterfly and this submission. And this is a Knights of the Round Table King Arthur inspired submission. And I think it works really, really well. I love that you've used the round. Uh, it's from the Lilo and Stitch collection I do believe it is. I love that you've dressed your character up like King Arthur and it's like he's sat down um, there. You've got Merlin in the background, you've got all the knights around you. This is a really really good submission. Um, I, I just think this works really really well. <laughs> this is gorgeous. I love the detailing on this and yeah I hope this does well. Next up we have Wild Fae with this ancient aesthetic submission and I really really love this again these kind of like ancient market vibes the way you've used like all these clay pots and everything like some of these items are from like time bending like these ones this is like the deadly nightshade pot um you even got this uh cracked tower fragment uh, the fabric, the way you've used that in the background, goofy stall, then all these like fruit and veg stalls as well works really well. The peanuts and the coffee beans, uh, they're just such clever ideas in terms of like decorating using these items. They work really, really well. And then the like hay at the front, this reminds me in Hercules um, at the beginning of the film when he heads into town. And then he ends up knocking down all the like, <laughs> all the like uh, homes or structures and stuff like that because he accidentally, uh, I think he goes to catch a frisbee and he knocks a pillar or something like that. And obviously they're in this marketplace for like trading or whatever. This is what that reminds me of. That's kind of this scene. Um, so yeah, I really like this submission. Next up we have Winter Dragonfly and she has some beautiful submissions this week. First of all we have, oh my god, I'm just now realising I think I voted for one of your submissions. I think I voted for it. Okay, right, Um, we're going to talk about this one and then I'm going to show you the next one. Because I, I found a submission and it was really good and I voted for it and I thought I'd seen it before and I couldn't remember where. And now it's just twigged to me. <laughs> now it's just twigged. So we'll get on to the second one in a minute. But this one is gorgeous. All the flower elements are beautiful. Like in this um, floral garden with Eric. And then we've got these like ancient pillar arches. Which work really, really well together. This is definitely very romantic. The lighting here is beautiful. I love that we've got like a little picnic set up in the background. We've got this like loot here, so as if like Eric can serenade you. The fountains and the waterfall in the background just works really well together. This is certainly very gorgeous and very eye-catching. Now this is the second submission and I actually found this submission and I'm only just realising it now. Um, when I was voting I came across this submission and I was like... I've seen this submission before and I don't know why I didn't notice it. Probably because when I was scrolling through Discord, like the two photos are together when you scroll through the gallery. So I probably didn't realise it at first. But I seen this submission I was like, oh, this is incredible. I love the background with the um, Fountain of Youth and then the Eric statue and all the flowers and foliage and everything like that. 
And what I really liked was actually this detail here with the little um, like partridge pear thing, um, prickling pear, whatever it's called. And I actually, <laughs> because of that, I assumed it was someone else's submission. There's a creator I watched, Trisha's Lovely Games, and she's decorated using these before so at first I thought it was her submission and I went scrolling through her like videos because I was like oh maybe it's her and then I realized it wasn't and I kind of gave up trying to find who this was um and I was like I know I recognize it why do I recognize it and now I know why I recognize it because I'd seen it in my own discord I just can't believe when I went scrolling in discord the other day I didn't point it out I didn't notice it to point it out but I have actually voted for this submission I don't have any evidence for it because it was when I was voting like off camera and stuff like that but I know I definitely came across this because of this little detail um <laughs> but yeah this is this is gorgeous at least i'm hoping it's trisha who decorates with them now i'm like in my head like what if it wasn't her what if it wasn't <laughs> i'm gonna sound like an idiot um but yeah this is a beautiful submission and i know you at least have one vote from me <laughs> next up we have christian henry who's decided to take a risk this week and do a selfie submission i love that you can see all the decor i love that you've got this kind of like depth with this shot, with this like alleyway. I'm not sure what part of Eternity Isle that leads to. I have a feeling it's the bit that leads down to the like secret beach where you first come across like a time bending, um, what they called like crafting bench. Um, that's what I kind of think with that. Um, but I love all the statues. They work really, really well together. This bench with the uh, fountain in the middle looks gorgeous. All the foliage kind of popping through on the photos, lovely. So good luck with this. I'm very intrigued to see how your risky submission pays off. Next up, we have Pink Chair Gaming, and this is a gorgeous submission. I actually feel like I voted for this too. Like this looks vaguely familiar. I think I may have voted for this today. Maybe I did. Maybe, I, I don't know now. <laughs> I don't know, I might have done, it just looks, the character looks familiar with the glasses, that's what's like getting me, is the character looks very familiar with the glasses, but I love all the like florally elements at the front, I think they're gorgeous, the way it complements the dress, um, the use of the waterfalls in the background behind these like archway uh, sections works really really well um these like fire lights as well are gorgeous so this is a wonderful submission and i really hope it was yours that i voted on next up we have jasper's submission here i love this again this is kind of like a a victorian explorer kind of vibes in a ancient market and things like that we've got the clay pots we've got these boxes um almost gives me in a way kind of um tarzan vibes like thinking of jane and when they set up their tent uh to explore the jungle and things like that it kind of has like a bit of a mix of that in there which i think works really really well i love the eric statue you're posing here with the monkey which is super cute and i love this like jungly backdrop as well i think that works really well so good luck on this submission and i can't wait to find out what your results are Next up, we have Doodles with this absolutely stunning submission. This is so good. Your character looks gorgeous. I love, like, somehow you look really good with this hat. I, I tell you what, I love this hat, but I feel like it's just a little bit too oversized in game. I feel like it just needs a little bit of shrinking um, to make it work, because otherwise I would wear it, like, all the time. <laughs> um but yeah i love how it kind of like matches with the hair you've got the, like this white bit but then this really bright vibrant pop of blue at the bottom which is gorgeous paired with this blue dress it's beautiful i love the glow of lights in the background from here merlin's house the orbs the lighting the fact that you've used the um starlight projectors behind the cauldron here to make it look like there's smoke coming out of it almost like as if merlin's conducting his spells 
and then all the sparkles here from these flowers work really really well this definitely has a super cute magical vibe and i also love the mickey cloud of course um can't forget about the mickey cloud now next up we have sunny wawa submission and i actually came across sunny submission uh when voting which actually just quickly one sec I'm just bringing up on screen now the submission. So this is when I voted and this is the submission it was paired against. Now, both of these submissions are stunning. I I was very, very torn when voting. I did decide to go for Sunny's submission in the end because I felt it was just that little bit stronger in terms of like decor. Like not in terms of how many items, but I just felt like the scene worked better i think i get why the submission that's been done uh the medusa theme submission has been done in a room but i felt like it would have worked better as an outdoor submission um but it is a very good strong submission and i want to say to whoever this person is that created this submission on the left you have created a stunning submission and i hope it still does really really well um but it just shows you how strong the competition is out there that this is the level that we're working with when voting and it is incredibly hard to choose i'm sure for people who are watching this video some of you may have gone the same way i did and voted for sunny's submission and others have, may have gone the other way and voted for the medusa submission they are both incredibly good um so yeah <laughs> just wanted to kind of point that out the level of like submissions for this week are so strong and i think getting into that top five percent for the 4k moonstones is gonna be very very tough this week now back to sunny submission since that's what i mainly want to show off uh i love this i love the eric statue in the background like even with these little like golden like vases next to it the scorpions which look like they're running about that is so cool such a cool little detail i love the fire raven i think it works really well in this setting um how the photo's been framed with these fountains as well is gorgeous i love all the foliage the statues all the lighting it's very very cute and i love this little sparkle at the top like it's just gorgeous it almost looks like a star um so yeah i absolutely love this submission i think it's so good i think it's so strong and i expect you will do amazingly with this next up we have nan logan here with their submission and i love this i love the inclusion of the like fountain of youth even using the orbs um the orb pillars is really good we've got one here on the right and one on the left um using these vents with the water fountains underneath is really really good that's a trick that i used when i created my uh maui uh statue on the beach <laughs> um the maui shrine that i made for him to try and keep him away from me so he could just stare at himself <laughs> so i love that little detail i think it works really really well um all the statues look lovely this is a gorgeous submission next up we have donut submission and this is gorgeous i love the details in this all the books i love how it almost looks like this philatiti statue is stood on top of the books and here as well like that's such a cool little like visual trick um i think that's super fun uh all the sparkles at the front even bell works well in this submission especially like when you think how much of a like book nerd that bell is um the little pixel flames the cooking flames whatever they're called they look really good this is a really fun submission and i hope this does well next up we have nia submission and this is like a very kind of like kida atlantis uh inspired submission i love this setting i love this background i love the kind of like market stalls and everything like these market stalls have so much detail to them 
uh, which I think is super cute. I love the little robot statue, the kind of like Atlantean flying ships as well work really, really well. Um, and then the pillars and like the archways in the background with these glowing orb lights. This is just a gorgeous submission and I hope this does well because it, it's really good. It's really good. Next up, we have a submission from Wolfie here. Um, I love this one. I love how you've used the trellises to kind of create like a bit of a, a unique kind of archway here. I think that works really well. Um, you're posing here with the uh, little robot companion, which I think works really well. We have a bit of like kind of like overgrown wildness in the background with all these plants and foliage and the vine walls. And then we've got sort of these um, stone uh, sculptures and the benches and the fountain here, which I think works really well. So this is a really cute submission and I hope it does well. Next up, we have Wild Face submission and this is gorgeous so so pretty i love these archways and like the floral details in the background with the other arches just looks so good the use of the well here works really well as i've said before the wells work really well this week um there's something about them that just fits in with the ancient aesthetics these two fountains at the front with these uh butterfly um flowers it's just really cute um yeah this is just gorgeous like even the lighting your character looks amazing he looks very muscular <laughs> um yeah this is this is just really good i really like this submission i think this is fantastic and then last but not least we have nina's submission this is beautiful i love how you've kind of like alternated the position of these archway structures i think that works really well and creates kind of like a unique uh perspective to this shot all the foliage at the front look looks and works really well using the fountain tiles under these marble um what are they called? Vases. <laughs> Works really, really well. We've got a little seat and set up here and the fountain in the middle. It's very cute, very pretty. I love the waterfall detail in the background. It's a very aesthetic kind of vibes and I hope this does really well. Okay, and that's it for the Discord Dream Snap submissions. As you can see, the level and quality of the submissions out there are so so good um i hope you all get 4k but if you don't please as i've said a billion times so far now don't be discouraged the competition is tough and i'm sure it's not a reflection of you and your submission just yeah it's going to be a tough one to get 4k this week i think i think it's going to be really really tough and i think it's going to be a matter of like a couple of votes that are probably making and breaking people from getting like 4k to 2500 for instance um but yeah best of luck to you all i hope the results go well on wednesday um Thank you for sharing. If you do want to share your submissions to be featured in a video like this going forward, then come join the Discord, share your dream snaps, and you could be included too. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys!